It's amazing standing in the Shurudmishta region of Warsaw because this was considered to be an off-the-beaten-path destination for tourists in the not-so-distant past. Yet today, it's visited by people from across the globe. Poland is an increasingly attractive country for conference markets and international business. This year, it was promoted to the group of developed countries, and Polish airports serve 17% more passengers. It is also more popular among worldwide tourists. In 2017, more than 2.6 million visited Warsaw, 8% from the United States. Why is Warsaw more popular? What's worth seeing in this developing capital city? I decided to check it out with Vienna House Hotel Chain, which is opening a new property in Warsaw February 2019, inspiring guests to explore and discover hidden secrets of cities. So on today's episode of Cult America, I set out to visit every district of Warsaw to discover the city's hidden secrets. Let's begin with the Warsaw Fashion Street. Designer shopping and Polish brands are sought after by locals on Mokotowska Street, often before enjoying the city's nightlife. Spatif is a really cool club where you can come and socialize where Poland's most notorious names in theater and film used to spend their free time. This star-studded venue mixes the romance of show business with the simplicity of a retro decor. But for those seeking a more up-tempo environment, I'd suggest Hala Koshiki. Previously a farmer's market, this hall sports a post-industrial interior and hype restaurants. Actually, it's got some of the best international food selection in Warsaw. Across the river is Praga Punoc. Where you can see some of the most rustic sites imaginable. Delicate urban decay mixed with classic European architecture leaves a visitor with a cozy yet nostalgic impression. All right, one pretty fun secret of the Praga Punats neighborhood is the mysterious yellow telephone, which can be used to call numbers inside of Poland and abroad. Trick is, you have to come to this neighborhood to try it yourself to see if it works. I think I'll call my mom. Not far from our mystery phone is the upscale district of Praga Pudnia. The well-known street Franzuska is adjacent to the national stadium. It's home to many embassies and international schools or restaurants. You can also choose to slow down here with some yoga. Saska Kempa, bo tutaj się wychowałam. Uwielbiam to tą zieloną dzielnicę i i ludzi, którzy tutaj są. Najważniejszym plusem tego miejsca to jest właśnie ta przyjacielska i fajna atmosfera, która sprawia, że ludzie chętnie tutaj przychodzą, bo czują się tutaj dobrze po prostu. Makotów is the most densely populated region in Warsaw, and it's an exciting place to discover. This business district was once just home to major corporations. Today it's been vitalized with apartments, nightlife and restaurants. Even more excitingly is the fact that the Austrian chain Vienna House is opening their Warsaw Makotów location here. This hotel will feature floor-to-ceiling windows, vast greenery, and a restaurant that will look like a Balkanic garden. Starting in February 2019, you can stay in this hotel. Nearby are fantastic amenities like the Postempu 5, or a swift commute to the city center, lush parks, and a great connection to the airport.
They'll also have an eco-friendly restaurant that can be enjoyed by guests and non-guests. But if you're looking for something a little more little, I've got another location in Mokotuf that is just perfect. Dobra and Dobra is the smallest cafe in Poland. Totally worth a visit, not just for the coffee, but for the friendly vibes. Come on guys, let's go for a nice walk. So this might look like a reverse desert, in a way it is, but if you ever had the desire to walk alpaca, I recommend you come to Wawer, which is a kind of outskirt district of Warsaw where it's the only place I can think of in Poland that you can do this activity. And it's nice. All right guys, say bye bye. Bye bye camera. Bye bye YouTube. <laughs> Perhaps you'd like to do a bit of urban exploring. Fort Bema is the perfect place for that. You could also attend a concert in the crypt of this church in Bilane. Vesoa has a beautiful forest. Inside the forest is an orphanage with a telescope. Rembertuf has these stunning gates in front of the War Studies University. So you know how when you take your kid to the park, it's impossible to ever swing because your feet constantly hit the ground? In Ursus, that is not a problem because they have the one and only adult playground. Everything's super huge so that you can, uh, you know, see if you remember how to do uh, flips. I don't recommend that. I'm too old. <laughs> I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. Oh. <laughs> oh man. That's actually kind of scary. I can't believe I make my kids do this. Oh. <sighs> All right. It's more fun as a kid, that's for sure. Ursynów is the third largest district in Warsaw, with 148,000 inhabitants. 25% of the population here is below the age of 18. It's the only place in Warsaw with a self-serving dog wash and a 1,000-year-old tree. But today I'm just passing through on my way to the neighboring region of Włochy, where I will enjoy one of Warsaw's bird sanctuaries. Birds are surprisingly sweet little creatures. Well, generally, this is this is very nice. This is probably one of my favorite things that I've done so far in Warsaw. I think that's a sign that they're happy campers. In Ohotsa, you'll find a ski hill, majestic parks. and the best Middle Eastern food on the planet. There's also an exhibition for the visually impaired that brings visitors an unforgettable experience of life without vision. Jesteśmy dedykowani osobom widzącym, czyli przychodzą tu ludzie, którzy na co dzień widzą, cieszą się światem i zanurzają się w totalną ciemność po to, żeby sprawdzić, co tak naprawdę oznacza być osobą z niepełnosprawnością wzroku. Back on the other side of the river is Targówek. One relic offers perspective on a lost population, the Jewish cemetery.
This type of history is around every corner. Take this building in Białowęka. It once protected Jews who were in hiding during the Second World War. Vola, you can also see one of the largest Jewish cemeteries in the world. Zalibos has become a popular meeting place for young people. Cultural events, outdoor cinema, concerts, and activities for children have all become commonplace here. Now, very few landmarks survived the Second World War in this city, but Palace Vilanov is one of them. And if you come to stay in Warsaw, you definitely have to check out their annual light show. It is spectacular. I'm grateful to be here thanks to our partners at Vienna House who inspired this episode. Check out their website as well as Vienna House story blogs for more hidden secrets of Warsaw. Discover your own travel adventure.